Hey there, this is Lala from Lala's Wild and Crazy Golden Years, where I cook with wine and sometimes I even put it in my food. Tonight's video is going to be about evening skincare. And uh, I'm going to show you my journey on what, how I've got to where I am today after 20 months and how well my skin is doing. I've got it to a real simple routine. Not to say I'll never change it up, but right now it's working, so why mess with it? So um, if you add this as well to a morning routine, which I had brought in the video before, uh, it's called six, three easy, three simple tips and more for skincare. So you might want to go check that out. So the first thing I do is, since I wear makeup in the day, I do a double cleanse. I don't know if you've heard about it, if you have. If you don't wear makeup, you only have to do a one cleanse. <laughs> so I'm using right now a balm called Clean It by um, Zero. And I'm almost out. So what I'm gonna do next is try this Neutrogena. Now this one is a little more inexpensive, so I'll put a link into an Amazon. I don't know how good it is, but it's got great reviews, so I'll let you know. You take you know, it looks like this. You just scoop out some in your hand and kind of do it like this. And then I put it on my eyelashes first and rub them in with your eyelashes closed, eyes closed, of course. And I really lather it up because, you know, I wear waterproof mascara, so I need a little extra something on getting that off. So I do that, and then once I kind of feel it loosened up, then I will go around with the balm and, you know, really work it in, get it good, and then I... um Rinse it with lukewarm water and pat it dry. Now, I don't know why you need to pat it dry if you're going on to a second cleanse. So my second cleanse is with my the same one I use in the morning, the Vanna Cream. And this just works great and doesn't leave your skin dry. So I put that on, then I rinse and pat dry and I'm ready for the next step. So this is what I do right now. I have, do I have it upside down? No, I have Trentinoin, which is a, a generic name for Retin-A, so I'll be referring to it as this if you haven't heard that Tretinoin, and I'm at one, or one, 0 0.05. I started out at 0 0.25, and um, I use, now I use this, and I use it three times a week, and like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it, it's so far it's doing really good. I, you want your, your face to slough off, because you slough off, not slough off, but you want it to get the research, you want to resurface your skin, basically, without sandblasting it. And, but this can be like sandblasting if you don't uh, do it right. And this is by Trent, this is by um, prescription only. So you go to your dermatologist, you ask them what they think. And if you don't have a dermatologist, it's a good idea to get one because we want to keep skin cancer off and we want it, we're working hard to not age our skin. So we want to make sure that we're, you know, taking care of our skin. And they will as I said, assess it and let you know what they think about tretinoin. And you would start at the, the lowest possible, and hopefully they would explain really how to do it. But I, I'm going to put a link in here for um, how to do tretinoin, how to start out safely, because it can really, you know, uh, irritate your skin to the point where it's like it's burnt. So you don't want to do that. It's This is a marathon, not a sprint. So it takes time. Um, I'm finally seeing a really really good results after a year and even now my skin is more tolerated but I do notice that it is sloughing and that's good but you don't want it dry and cracked and painful then after I do the tretinoin or retinol I don't do retinol but I'll get to that in a minute I use this elf gentle um, what is it called I lost my glacas okay I have to have them looks like I'm blind as a bat so this has it's a gentle peeling exfoliant Holy hydration with papaya and tangerine extracts. But anyway, you take a little bit of this, and this is the next day. So this is kind of in the morning routine. I do this three times a week after I do tretinoin. So I put a good size in my hand and get it on your face and start rubbing. And you'll feel your face coming. I mean, it just takes off uh, your dirt and wet, as well as all the skin. I mean, it's wonderful. It's very gentle. So once you've done all that, then you rinse it with... Um, Warm, lukewarm water and pat it dry and it'll feel so smooth. This stuff is great. Um, so then after I've done that, I'm ready to do my next step, which is my eyes. Because while well, the tretinoin is setting in a little bit, or the retinol, I should get to that first. The retinol, retinol is much easier on your skin. So then um, the tretinoin, it's, it's over the counter, so it's not as strong. It takes a little longer to work. Um, and 
there is a serum as well. So my, well, there's a cream and a serum. My, my cousin uses this uh, Olay Regenerist Retinol and Peptides Face Moisturizer. And she says it's working for her. She's a, she cannot do, um, she cannot do the, uh, Tretinoin because her skin is just way too sensitive, even when she started out slow. This, she says, is even, you know, but it works. It, you want to slough, but you want to be able to control it so that your, you know, your makeup will go on if you wear makeup or you're, you know, you're not just big peeling off. You don't want to do that. So, uh, I don't have any retinols right now to show you, but I had a few I tried before. And so I'll find those and link those to you because those worked pretty good, but I needed more. My skin was just, was tough after I, you know, resurfaced it. That's basically what we're doing, resurfacing. So then after you do that, you, you've done your retinol, your tretinoin, whatever, then I'm gonna go on to my eye cream, which is this uh, Purity by Philosophy. You can see it. And it, uh, it's very gentle. I use it in the morning as well. And I put a little dollop on each finger here and pat in right where I have a lot of uh, bagginess <laughs> or puffiness. And it helps with dark circles. And I put it in the corner of my eye because I have these little skin lumps in there, uh, those little fat pockets, that helps with those. Then once I've done that, then I'm ready to move on to my hyaluronic acid by Ordinary. I use this in the morning as well. And uh, you put like a dime size in your hand and and then pat it on your face. And it's kind of tacky, but it, but it dries. It goes on tacky, just to let you know that's that's what it's supposed to. And some people can be um, have a, a reaction to the hyaluronic acid, very, very sensitive skin people. And so you might want to not use this. If you have a cream that already has hyaluronic acid in it, or a moisturizer, that could be great too. So then I take uh, my next one to seal in the hyaluronic acid is my Squalene by The Ordinary. And I use that in the morning too, but in the morning I just use a drop because it's very, you know, it, it will leave your skin really oily. And if you don't have a lot of time to wait till it soaks in and then it's beautiful, um, then just use a little bit. And then at night I use more because I really want to get my face to uh, rejuvenate overnight. So I've done those two things and now I do also use my e.l.f. Holy Hydration um, face moisturizer. And this comes in a fragrance free as well. And it's the same thing I use in the morning. So I put up enough that it feels good to me and then I put it, you know, over, you know, pat it all on till it soaks in. You can go like this on your neck. Then you're good there. Once that's good, now I have one, that's usually where people end. But I, I have this one more step and I did it in the morning too. It's Il Mickey Lodge. I don't have a link to it. You can go out on their website. They're a New York company. And it's, a, let me see, let me read it to you. It's Power Lift. Anti-aging, collagen, boost, priming, and plumping cream. Probably just look for Power Lift. <laughs> but anyway, it's got, a, it's a nice consistency. The jar is heavy as can be. It's like a brick. I'm not sure why. Um, that's probably what you're paying for in addition to the, the cream, the gel, because it is about, uh, $60 for this and I'm going to be looking into other firming plumping skin ones that are uh, more um, You know inexpensive and see how they do so you take a little bit on your fingers, too And I I rub it up gently and I you know white you know, I'm not supposed to rub but you just gently Do up your face like that in your 11s. Just get it on there really good. And now you're ready for night night <clears throat> Isn't that easy? Nine night. Okay, and then we're going to now you are ready for nine night. Then I just keep saying that nine night nine night nine night. <sighs> now you will glorify yourself overnight and just be you know nice and soft and supple in the morning. I also have a lip balm I use, and in the morning I have a lip scrub because when I wake up it's all dry because I probably sleep with my mouth wide open. So I use the scrub in the morning, and in the evening I use a balm. And I'll, I'll put a link to those in uh, as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And to look forward to when the next one will be about slugging. I know it sounds disgusting, doesn't it? If you haven't heard of it, watch it. It's, watch, it's going to be great. And it's really good for your skin. Especially when you're using retinol and uh, tretinoin. Okay, now I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, enough so that you will like and subscribe because that's the only way you're going to see my mug. And leave a, me leave a comment on what you'd like to see next. And um, oh, I'll do my breast to bring it to you. I'll do my breast. <laughs> Cook. I'll more wine. 
and then you'll be uh, excited. <laughs> I always get all flubbed up at the end. I'm tired today. But so leave a comment, tell me what you'd like to see, and I will do my best to bring it to you. So having said all that fumble at the end, I want to end today on a quote. And this is from a very wise woman, Joan Rivers. You know you've reached middle age when you're cautioned to slow down by your doctor rather than a police officer. I don't need to even add anything to that. Uh, thank you. See you soon. Lala out.